Long time no see. I'm so sorry that I've just disappeared off of my YouTube channel for three weeks. I think it is, maybe two weeks. I mentioned this in my previous video that I was kind of having a bit of a... Uh, I mentioned it on Instagram and on my last video that I was just kind of going through a little bit of a... I don't know, what do you call it, a difficult time, but I was just feeling a bit stressed about traveling and I know that there's a phrase for that when you get like run down when you're traveling because you do too much of it and I definitely experienced that. I'm currently in Canada and I've been here for a few weeks and it's been amazing, it's been lovely. I'm here visiting my grandma and my uncle and my family from home also came over to, we sort of met here to all hang out with my grandma and my uncle at their place and it's been really nice um, but I also have had this yearning to get back onto YouTube and talk to you. I'll probably do a video in the future all about my travel experience and everything because there is so much that I've learnt and so much that I would do differently but without further ado I'm going to show you the stuff that I brought with me traveling so if you're new to my channel then I recently went traveling around Southeast Asia I went to Thailand, Singapore, Bali, Malaysia, Vietnam and Cambodia and it was amazing I had the time of my life and before I went traveling, I did a video on all the stuff that I was packing with me, all the things that I was bringing with me. And I mentioned in that video that I'd go into further detail about all the stuff I had clothes wise. I've definitely learned that I could be more minimalist for sure. I bought way too many clothes that I didn't wear very much. And I think that's really helpful for the next time because I think every time you go traveling, you take less because you realize you really don't wear a lot of clothes. You tend to wear the same things over and over again because of comfort, because of ease and the sort of nice pretty things you think you're gonna wear for a nice Instagram photo, you really don't end up doing that because it's just so hot. So yeah, without further ado, let's show you all the stuff I brought with me. So I'm gonna start with my shoes because I bought three pairs of shoes with me. First of all, I bought my trainers. These are a pair of New Balance trainers. I will link everything that I can that I have in this video in the description down below so you can check it out. So I bought these before going traveling because I really needed a new pair. My other pair of trainers I'd had since I was like 19, 20 and um, they were very beaten up. So I got a new pair and they're plain black. They were amazing. I wore these the most out of all the shoes I brought with me and they've held up really well. I haven't cleaned them or anything and they still look pretty good. Um, and they're super, super comfortable and I'd highly recommend New Balance as a company because they make most of their products in the UK and you can get a vegan pair. Highly, highly recommend New Balance, but definitely size up. I had to size up for mine because they are very small fitting. The next is my pair of sandals. Again, I got these for the traveling. For the traveling? I got these before I went traveling. Um, they're a pair of zero sandals. Um, I had my eye on these for a really long time because uh, they're a minimalist style shoe and they're supposed to last for a very long time. And they are very hard wearing and you can walk in them a long way, go go in water with them and they've held up so so well and I love them to pieces and they're so comfortable, they're like wearing slippers outside and I am somebody who absolutely hates sandals and hates flip flops, I always have done but I love these because they're so comfortable so highly highly recommend, they're very expensive but I think they're worth it because they'll last you a long time in my experience sandals tend to last you like one year and then you have to get a new pair so they're ideal and these are not appropriate for anybody else who doesn't have a bike, but I bought bike shoes with me because I went cycling. We took our bikes with, the, with us around Southeast Asia and we did lots of cycling. So um, that's why I brought these and yeah, so I use them for that purpose, so. And then my travel wardrobe. So the sort of things that I wore every time I was on a plane were my leggings and this jumper, which is from Jade Green Vegan. And it says vegan because, and it has all the animals on it. I love this jumper because it's huge, it's really soft, but when you're on a plane and you're traveling in airports, there's lots of air con and it can get very cold, so that's the perfect outfit to wear. And I'd wear it with whatever t-shirt or anything underneath, but that was something I would never wear when I was actually in a hot country. I just have it in my backpack. And next is my dresses. I definitely recommend you bring dresses with you on your trip, especially loose fitting, floaty, soft dresses. In the future, I definitely wanna bring a longer dress too, because they are so, so comfortable and so handy when you're in hot weather and they're easy just to throw on with a bikini underneath or a sports bra and a pair of shorts underneath and you can ride your bike, you can go on a walk. They're just, I literally love them and they're what I wore the most. So 
I will also insert some pictures if I have them of me wearing these clothes just so you can see. This is the first dress. I've had this for years. It's just a floral print swing dress. Really comfortable. I wore that a lot and I felt kind of cute in it because sometimes when you're traveling you feel pretty grotty so it's nice to have a few things that have pretty prints or nice colors. The next thing is this black dress which you can kind of see has a crossbody back and I got this from Depop before I left. Um, I did do a haul video so you can check that out if you want to see me wearing it. This was amazingly handy. It's got a pair of shorts underneath so it's like a play suit that looks like a dress and I wore this all the time when I wanted to sort of feel a bit nicer because it's quite a pretty dress. One of the best purchases I've ever made. I love this dress. A black dress or a comfortable black dress or play suit I think is vital. Then I have this red dress which is great because it's a nice pop of colour and it's really soft. Again I got this from Depop. Really soft, really comfortable, amazing. And next is this clothes that I really wore probably the least and that is like crop tops and sort of prettier tops. Some of these I wore a lot but a lot of them I just, I think I just I would never take these in the future because they just were filling up my wardrobe, or my backpack even. Um, this one I actually did wear a lot. Um, I got this from Brandy Melville before I left and I wore that a lot with my denim shorts. It's just a simple, I think these sorts of things, are simple, simple vest tops are really handy. This one I wore even more. Um, I've had this for years. I think it's originally from Zara, but I wouldn't recommend you buy it from Zara. I just got this years and years ago. And um, it's got a low back, really simple, went perfectly with a pair of shorts on a hot day and sort of low back kind of pretty. And then this top is the sort of top I'm talking about which was pretty but I really just didn't wear it. It's a crop top that tied at the back and just that kind of top that it was a bit hot and sweaty at the back and crop tops. I only had my denim shorts to wear with crop tops and when you're really hot and you're on your bike, especially because I was all cycling everywhere, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Don't bring tops that are like complicated like this because you just won't wear them. The next top I wore loads, probably my most worn strap top, is this black one. Really floaty, definitely bring one of these and I also love it because I didn't have to wear a bra with it because it's black because the white tops I'd have to wear a bra with. And then this top I really didn't wear because it's form fitting and the material kind of made me feel hot so I just did not wear that because I didn't want things like touching me. <laughs> And this one, again, I really didn't wear. I wore it a couple times at the start of my trip and then I just sort of gave it up because it just made me too hot because of these little bits that kind of go around your armpit and uh, the ruching around your stomach. Just not, not pleasant when it's boiling, boiling hot weather. This is a crop top. This is Vegan Power. Uh, I love this top. Um, I wore this a reasonable amount. Not as much as other ones because it's a crop top so it doesn't have as much. I feel like I've said the word crop top a hundred times. <laughs> I didn't wear as much as my t-shirts just because I didn't have as many clothes that went with that but um, it was good. This one I wore a lot, well not a lot, I wore a few times with this top because um, this one's sheer, I put this crop top underneath. Um, didn't really wear these two a lot again because they're kind of the sort of prettier type of tops. I did wear them a few times but in the future I wouldn't, I would not bring this with me. And then this stripy top, I did wear this quite a lot actually just because it's a bit longer and it tucked into a pair of travel, you know those sort of, I'll show you them. I, I'm not including this in my travel wardrobe because I'm going to put this in a um, what I bought travelling video but yeah these trousers that everybody has when you go to Thailand etc. Yeah I would tuck it into those or whatever, really really comfortable. And then finally this top which I wore a lot more when we were by the beach in Bali because I could just throw it on over my bikini with a pair of denim shorts and it looked really cool. Oh, um, so it's just this one with a little pocket at the front. So these sorts of tops are really handy, ones you can just throw on over your bikini. And then these are the t-shirts that I brought that are longer. This one I got at Glastonbury. Glastonbury is a music festival if you're not aware and it was just like a vintage shop and all of us got tie-dye t-shirts and I love this because I, as you might have noticed, I mostly wear black and white so some days when I fancy being a bit garish and colourful I would put this on and really really love this t-shirt, also would wear it as a uh, pyjama top. I also have my vegan t-shirt, I just got these t-shirts out the wash, they are a little bit wet which isn't, isn't great but I wanted to show you them so ignore the sort of wet patches, I'm going to hang them up after this. This is a Fueled by Veg t-shirt which is huge and I wore this mostly travelling and in bed because it's so big and t-shirts that are that big you don't, it make you kind of hot so you don't really want to wear them 
like out and about but love jade and her brand definitely check them out her clothes are so comfortable and i love the message in them i got a lot of compliments whenever i wear these tops her tops i always get people saying oh my god i love your top especially the fueled by veg one and then i had this vegan t-shirt which i wore a lot as well it's got kind of stained from all the activities i've done in it but this was great if i was wearing my shorts my which i'm going to show you in a minute if you can see my mum got this for me, but you can see all the different um, prints on the word vegan, which I love. And then this grey t-shirt came in a lot of handy. I wore this mostly as a pyjama top, but also just with a pair of casual shorts. And then I have this shirt. This is the only shirt I brought with me. It's like a beach cover up. And when we were in Bali, I also would wear it just sort of over my bikini around the house. I uh, didn't wear it a lot, but definitely handy especially if you're going to the beach to bring some kind of shirt like this that you can throw over and also if you're going to go to any temples I wore this a few times because your shoulders need to be covered so definitely came in handy and then I have some shorts I have these shorts which were definitely some of my most worn shorts I'm sure most of you would think to bring a pair like this when you're traveling because they're floaty soft lightweight and really comfortable and then I have another pair similar. Didn't really wear these, they're not my style. I was umming and ahhing about whether I should take them and I wouldn't in the future because my hunch was right and I just didn't wear these. I got these years ago and they're just not my thing. I'd only wear these if I had nothing else to wear, honestly. And then a pair of denim shorts. Obviously, I think this is absolute staple if you're going away somewhere hot. Denim shorts, just they look cool, they're really comfortable. Um, they're very practical, hard wearing. I didn't wear them loads because sometimes when I was cycling especially they're not comfortable to cycle in but any times when I wasn't riding my bike um, I would wear these especially by the beach I think they're a very good beach beach item and then next I'm going to show you my sports sort of sporty clothes um, obviously this just applies to what you're doing when you're traveling if you're not going to be doing lots of activities then maybe you don't need to bring these things but I knew that I'd be doing lots of activities hence bringing my bike so Actually, I wore these clothes the most out of all the clothes because every day I was on my bike or kind of going out and about when you're wearing sort of sports bras and shorts that are cut. They're the, they're the most comfortable clothes is what I'm trying to say, sports clothes. That's why so many people live in like, just like gym gear because it's just so comfortable. I bought my one set of bike shorts, which I need to throw in the bin when I get back because they are like ripped and they are really see-through on the bum. But, um, and also I'm definitely not going to get ones with these over the top what do you call them because they drive me up the wall alex has a pair which are just shorts and i really want to just get a pair like that um but these were essential i wore these basically every single day and then my jersey or top or whatever you want to call it um i also really hate this it's not flattering don't like the color but it was the only one that was in the shop when i bought my bike that fit me and that wasn't disgusting um because it's kind of like plain but another thing that i really want to replace when i get back and then I have little things like this, which is sort of a neck face cover up if it was ever really, really hot. Didn't actually use this a lot. Used it a couple times though. And also some, where are they? I don't know where they are, but I also had some arm covers that I bought whilst I was there. And then sports bras. This sports bra I've had for as long as I can remember. As long as I've been going to the gym, I've had this sports bra. And I was going to throw it away and replace it with a new one before I left, but I didn't end up doing that because I I just love it. It's really comfortable, bright, and I actually wore this the most. And then I have this sports bra, which is great as well, but it wasn't as, it's not as supportive. As you can see, it's a bit more sort of simple. And then this sports bra, I literally wore like twice because it doesn't fit me very well. And I tried to give it away when I was there, but nobody wanted it. So um, I might give it away when I get back or... I don't know, maybe I could wear it as a crop top. Who knows, I might throw this out, but I got this again. I got this second hand from Depop, so it wasn't that much of a loss. And then this top I literally wore once, maybe twice. Um, I thought it would come in handy because it's like a sports racer back top, um, but it just I just didn't wear it because I thought I'd wear it cycling if I ever wanted to, if, I, if it was ever like super hot, but then I didn't want to wear it because I didn't want to burn because I've got pale skin, as you can see. I had a little bit of a tan when I was there, but it's completely gone already. And um, yeah, I just didn't wear it. Maybe I'll wear it back in the UK. Who knows? I think I should get rid of it though because I've had it for years and I just don't wear it. These shorts were one of the most handy things ever if you're going somewhere and like 
doing any activity, walking, hiking, cycling, anything, bring a pair of shorts like this because even if you're not doing any activity, you will be doing activity though if you're going traveling because you're gonna be walking a lot. Bring a pair like this because you can throw it on underneath your dresses and then you don't have to worry about your dress blowing up if it's windy and you can go on runs in them. They're just, they're just so practical. They're just come, hand, come in handy in so many scenarios. And then I have this pair of shorts, which is again, probably up there as my most worn item. It's a pair of running shorts I've had for years. They're sort of really comfortable, not too tight. And I would live in these. I'd wear these with t-shirts like most days. Like they're just so great. I feel like I brought a lot. This looks like a lot, but it all fit in my 40 litre backpack. I'll show you. I'll pack everything in the backpack at the end to show you. I have these pair of pajama shorts. Highly recommend you bring something comfortable just to laze around in because when all your other clothes are sweaty and smelly and you know, you, you sometimes wanna just wear something com comfortable and soft in your own apartment or hotel or wherever you're staying. And then this top is from Jade Green Vegan again. And I wore this mostly as a pajama top because it's so comfortable and soft. I would occasionally wear it out and about as well, um, but I mostly loved it as a pajama top and love her, check her out. I've already said that, but I do love her. And then finally, <laughs> I feel like I've been, going through my clothes for so long are bikinis and underwear i bought two bikinis don't know if that was necessary one would have been enough um and in the future i definitely want to invest in a high quality bikini because these were second hand and they are a piece of shit if i'm being honest they fell apart the um straps kept on coming undone so definitely if you're going somewhere by the beach invest in a high quality hopefully like from a good company because there's so many companies out there now that do make bikinis from recycled materials and um, I was gonna buy one but I just kind of didn't want to fork out the money so um, I got secondhand ones but yeah definitely bring a high quality bikini with you if you're gonna be by the beach and wearing one a lot because these wound me up and then I have socks I have way more pairs of socks than these but um, I don't know currently where they are I think they're in the wash but I would recommend you bring more socks than you think you need because you will lose them because everywhere we went, every new place we went, I feel like I'd lose a pair of socks. Finally is bras. I bought two little bralettes because if you've watched my Why I Don't Wear a Bra video, I really don't wear bras. And I really only wore these in the occasion when I was wearing a top that you could see through. And other than that, I'd wear my sports bra or no bra. So I didn't really wear these that much, um, but I definitely would still take them because they are handy. And I also bought a few pairs of underwear, but they are also in the wash. If you've seen my Why I Don't Wear Underwear video, I didn't bring a lot of pairs of underwear because um, I don't find underwear very comfortable, but obviously when you're wearing a dress and certain clothes, I would wear them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm really sorry that I've disappeared. Doing this video though, it's made me feel so much happier and just chatting to a camera, isn't that really weird? But I really enjoyed doing this, so I'm gonna try and film quite a few videos before we leave Canada which is at the end of this week so I'm gonna try and film a few more videos for you let me know your requests because that's really really helpful for me to know what you want to see from me and I'm really excited for the future all I can think about is getting back into work and YouTubing and doing all of that and yeah stay tuned I'm gonna be getting back into this sorry for my absence and thank you for being patient so this is my backpack it is the Osprey 40 litre backpack and we also had another backpack that I would travel with as my like personal bag and this would go in the hand luggage and I have a lot of electrical equipment and it all fit in perfectly. It was a bit of a squeeze sometimes but it all fit so I wouldn't need, to, I wouldn't recommend bringing a bigger bag because you'll just fill it. So let's pack everything away and to pack everything away I had some packing cubes which are really really helpful so I'll show you how I did it. This packing cube has worked the entire trip and then now the zip breaks. So that's it all packed in the bag. Obviously it had other things in the bag too other than just clothes, um, but I thought it'd be helpful to show you just how it fit in and I had a lot of extra room. You can check out my video that I filmed before I left where I packed everything and I showed you everything that I brought with me. And if you're wondering about the shoes, sorry, I'm really cut off. Um, my 
Cycling shoes went in my bike box because we traveled with our bikes and put a lot of stuff in our bike boxes. So those shoes went in there. And then I would be wearing these shoes and I picked out an outfit for myself. I would have been wearing this. Definitely wear everything that is big and chunky. And even if you don't wear the jumper, wrap it around your waist so you don't have to, you know, put it in the bag. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.